Thanks for stopping by Shane and Share. In this episode, we'll be exploring the References tab in Microsoft Word. I've already started outlining my paper on the Painted Turtle. I'm going to use these features to make my research more efficient and limit the distractibility for me and my students. So I will simply begin by clicking the style of my paper that I would like to choose. I'll use the researcher to find my information quickly and efficiently on the Painted Turtle. As my results populate, I can choose a topic. And since I've already started my paper, I'm going to outline the Painted Turtle and next I'll move on to the conservation. If I want to add this heading to my paper, I simply click Add Topic as Heading with this little plus sign that will appear, which is a great accessibility feature to insert in my paper headings. Now, if I want to learn a little bit more about the conservation of the Painted Turtle, I'll simply click the article. Notice you can see that my source is under the Creative Commons license, so that will be very helpful. And so now I'm going to choose a section that I want to insert in my paper. So I highlight my text and automatically this little tool comes up, Add and Cite. So I will add and cite this in my paper. So I have some information on the conservation of painted turtles. Now, if I wanted to go back in my research, I can simply click the back arrow. And I know that I had a few images that I might want to insert in my paper. So I will simply click this image of the painted turtle and I can add it to my paper. Notice I have its caption and its licensure right up under it. Now after I've finished working on my paper and I have all of my sources, if I want to quickly generate a bibliography straight from Word, I can simply do that by clicking bibliography and I can choose from a bibliography page, references, or works cited. So once you do that, that will insert your bibliography down at the bottom. So I think I'm just going to take works cited. And then my works cited page will be down at the bottom. So the researcher tab is great for quickly researching without leaving your document. And don't forget, you can always go back to my research anytime and find research that you have looked up. The Researcher app is also for the iPhone, so check that out on your iOS device. Thanks for joining Shane and Share. Have a great day.